Within the field of robotics, there are two very differing opinions. One is that robots should and can have rights. The other states that a tool simply cannot have rights. Some researchers think these two are too extreme and have offered their review to suggest a third, more collaborative perspective. Join us as we sit down with Taewon Kim at Carnegie Mellon University to discuss should robots have rights or rights? The purpose of my paper is to provide a third view uh, to add to existing uh, extreme views, which I draw from Asian uh, philosophy called Confucianism. The view provides a certain kind of morality which does not need any foundation about individual rights. So I take the rights perspective in which robots and humans collaborate together with a common goal rather than having an adversarial relationship. While individual rights are an important foundation for human morality, some argue it may be a dangerous idea to apply the concept of individual rights to robots. It is also worrisome to allow humans to robots whatever manners they think is appropriate because that is not good for human development and uh, character development. Imagine that uh, just allow your children to treat uh, robot humanoids whatever manner they think is interesting and appropriate, but that will be uh, bad for human learning and education and uh, relationship uh, with the robots too. Potential benefits to using robots gives us the opportunity to reduce human labor. However, a serious drawback is that robots may be creating a meaning crisis. As robots that we interact with look and behave similar to humans, we need to think about what it means to be human. And that identity question is a serious question. And that identity question and meaning question give us to another challenge to answer the question about whether robots should have rights or some other kind of a moral standing. With robotics advancement being at an all-time high, one might ask, what does the future hold? A conclusion of my research is that there is coherent way to grant moral obligations to robots without necessarily providing them individual rights. So that is one conceptual foundation that we can use to think about future interactions with robots. And following research, we need to think about is how to technically develop robots that understand uh, rituals and ceremonies uh, that they observe with humans. To continue doing good research in the field of robot ethics, all the stakeholders including government, industry, and university should spend more time and resources including money on the field of robot ethics and thinking about what is the best way to interact with robots in the future. Find out more in Should Robots Have Rights or Rights? A review article in the June 2023 communications of the ACM.